Hi y'all. My name is Hannah. Are you ready? A one, a two, a one, two, three. Lord, prepare me. Perfect! <laughs> Crushed it! Blessed to be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And blessed to be God's kingdom, now and forever. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. And peace to his people on earth. Let us pray together. God, we are here to worship and praise you. Help us to be listeners and thinkers as we hear your stories today. Help us to serve you through Jesus, who with love and holy and the Holy Spirit are one God forever and ever. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the whole earth. Sing, sing to the Lord and bless his name. Proclaim the good news of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among nations and his wonders among all peoples. For great is the Lord and great to be praised. He is more to be feared than all gods. Jesus told this story. Once a man planted good seed in a field, but when it sprouted, the crop was full of weeds. The man's servants went and asked him, didn't you plant good seed in that field? The farmer answered, yes, but my enemy must have sneaked in and planted the weeds. The farmer said, don't pull out the weeds now. You might pull up the crop too. Let them get bigger. Jesus told lots of stories about crops and seeds. In this story, he says, God's world is like a field with good plants and weeds, both growing in it. God maybe made it to be very good, but evil got in too. When the right time comes, God will clear out all the evil. The whole creation is waiting for God to finish his work.
Oh, hey friends. How are you? I'm just getting rid of these weeds in my garden. You know, you work so hard to plant a beautiful garden and grow plants and grow trees and grow beautiful flowers. And then these weeds just grow up and try to take over. You know, Ansley just told us a story about that. Jesus told us this story about all the good plants and all the weeds growing up together. I wonder what that means. Hmm. I wonder what are the weeds in your life that make it difficult for the good plants to grow? I know when I was a kid, I had some friends who always would ask me to do things I know I shouldn't do. And a lot of times I'd listen to them. And when I got in trouble, I said, but Robbie told me to. And my mom would say, well, if he told you to jump off a bridge, would you do that? I bet some of you have heard that before. Hmm, I wonder if Robbie was a weed in my life. I wonder if the people who try to get us to do the wrong thing are weeds and what that means from the story we heard that Ansley read us. It's Jesus said that we shouldn't pull up the weeds because we might pull up the good plants too. And Robbie wasn't all bad. He was a really good friend. He did a lot of good things too. So if I would have gotten rid of him as a friend because he often talked me into doing bad things, that wouldn't have been right. I wonder then how we can grow with the weeds in our life. You know, if you think of all the good things we do and all the good people as beautiful plants, and if you think of all the, the people who maybe try to get us to do the wrong thing or all the temptations in the world as weeds. I think Jesus is saying, don't get rid of those, but let them grow up with the plants. And if there's enough good plants, then maybe when God comes to get rid of the weeds, he won't pull them out and throw them away. What he'll do is make the weeds turn into beautiful plants. I wonder how we can help the weeds in our life become beautiful plants. Hmm. Certainly not by pulling them out of the garden and throw them away like I'm doing here. But I think if enough of us do enough good things and spread enough love, that that's like growing a garden full of beautiful plants, wonderful trees. And I think then it makes it really hard for weeds to grow and the weeds that do grow Maybe, maybe they'll see what it's like to be a beautiful plant and they'll want to do that too. Hmm. Friends, I hope we get to see each other soon. And until then, I hope you guys are all growing and loving and spreading as beautiful plants in the world. See you soon, friends. It's time for the creed. I believe in God above. I believe in Jesus' love. I believe in the Spirit, too, comes to teach me what to do. This week, we pray especially for our school leaders and administrators as they make difficult plans for us. Give them wisdom and support as they make decisions. Now we say, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the world, the United States, for our president and for Cincinnati. Now we say, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our families, our friends, and ourselves. Now we say, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our schools, our teachers, everyone who works at our schools, and our classmates. Now we say, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the people who are different from us and people who are like us that we may all love and support each other. Now we say, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that we may all continue to help each other know Jesus and grow in love. Now we say, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are poor, sick, or sad. Now we say, Lord, hear our prayer. We thank you for your many blessings. Now we say, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Bye. Bye-bye. God, we confess that we have done some things that are not right. Please forgive us when we mess up. Help us to forgive others too. May the blessings of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among us and remain with us 
always this week at home with our families as we stay active this summer. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Utah! Want to be part of Children's Liturgy? Fill out the form on the bottom of the online Children's Liturgy page.